What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSP4 tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. I hope everyone had an amazing Easter um, and that you all got to spend some time with some family, maybe with your kids, um, got to see some loved ones. Just hope you guys had a great Easter. With that being said today, we are going to be installing the new and improved updated DeLuca County call out. So I'm going to show you how it's done. And we're going to go into the game and check out a few of the callouts. With that being said, go ahead and click the link in the description, description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Made by Adam DeLuca. Big shout out to Adam DeLuca for this uh, callout pack. I've used these before, and I can say from experience that these callouts are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it has been a while since he's updated. Uh, the last time that he submitted these were September of 2020. And he just updated these yesterday at 636. I just so happened to see these when I was over here a while ago. Uh, so with that said, guys and girls, you want to click download the file here, agree and download, and you want the one that says county callouts 1.00 public.zip. That's the one you want. Click download here. And then close out of this and put this somewhere where you know to get to it. I do recommend your um, desktop. Um, and you're going to need your Grand Theft Auto V main game directory. If you are here for the first time and you do not know how to locate that main game directory, uh, I will leave a video in the top right corner. If you click that black box, it'll take you to my video showing you how to locate your main game directory. It's a good little video. It's about like two or three minutes. It shows you how to locate it, and you come back and check this out. Now, for those who are ready to go, open up your county callouts or WinRAR. It should come labeled as county callouts. And open up the county callouts folder. And we just want to highlight the LSPFR and the plugins right there from the WinRAR. Pull these into our main game directory right here and simply drop them in, okay? Now, if you, uh, we probably don't need to install this RageNativeUI.dll unless you just don't have one. And I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to grab this RageNativeUI.dll, I'm going to pull it to my main directory and drop it in. And I'm going to put compare info for both files. Now, the one that is on my right is the one I currently have in my directory. The one on the left is the one coming from this uh, county callouts WinRAR. So what you want to do is you want the newest one in your main directory. So for example, my newest one is 2.5 of 2023. Okay, and for those who watch my full install tutorial, you probably already have this up-to-date RageNativeUI.dll in your main game directory. Uh, but you always want the newest one, okay? Uh, so we're going to go with files already. It says if you select both versions, the move file have a number ad added to its name. You want to select the one you want and then click continue, okay? Now if we refresh this and we highlight that RageNativeUI... It should be that 2023, and that it is. Uh, 311 to 2023, right there, guys. So that's our up-to-date. You just want to make sure your RageDaveUI.dll is always up-to-date. Your callouts depend on it. Your plugins, stop the pet, a lot of JoJo mods depend on that, okay? With that said, go ahead and close out of this. Get rid of the shortcut. Let's um, go to plugins. And let's go to LSPDFR. And you will now notice that you have a folder called Dmodding, okay? If we open that up. Uh, in here is going to be some customized settings right here customizing customization settings open that up and let's just look through here real quick I don't think we have to manipulate anything But I just want to show you guys that you can go through these files and look at them and anything you want to manipulate You can as long as you know what you're doing. Don't go in here messing up stuff that you don't know how to mess with um, Like right here guys gonna be your talk key is Y shout key is one numpad one uh, this is important stuff that you probably need to know, okay? Like for controller users, the shout key would be uh, A on your controller, and the in call key will be D-pad down, all right? Now, what I'm going to do, because I don't like using my controller for anything, and if you want to do the same, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go right here where it says controller talk key mod equals D-pad down because I don't want this on my controller. I'm just going to highlight that D-pad down and type in capital N-O-N-E, okay? And then I'm going to highlight that word none and hit left control C. C is in Charles. And then do the rest of them like that for the controller only. Now for my keyboard, I'm going to leave the controls because I obviously need some kind of controls to interact in the calls and all that, okay? But for my controller keys from 
Here down, I'm going to mark them all as done. So right here, control or talk key Y. I'm going to hit left. I'm going to highlight that Y and hit left control V. It will now paste the word none. As long as you highlighted this and hit left control C, it will paste it. Next one down, highlight the X, left control V. The next D-pad down, left control V. The A, left control V. D-pad down, left control V. Now, it is not on your controller at all whatsoever. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't like anything on my controller. The only thing I use my control for is driving and my shooting. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, but that's it, guys. If you did change anything in here, and I don't think there's anything else we need to change. Um, I started to see maybe you could put your officer's name in or something like that, but I don't think there is. Go ahead. If you made changes, click File and click Save. Never click, never click Save As or Save All. Just click Save. Close out. And then I believe that is it for configuration files. There was only two in there. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go to plugins, back to LSPFR. And I think that is pretty much it for the um, the DeLuca uh, files, guys. I don't think there's anything else we need, we need to manipulate. So let's go back, close out, and I'm going to take you on again. We're going to shout a few call outs, and I will see you all inside of LSPFR. Also, guys, always, always clean out your recycle bin, just like so. All right, guys and girls, so uh, come over here to the Sandy PD, and uh, looks like uh, one of the deputies might be getting on with a, with a girl in there, so uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out some of these call-outs, guys. Now, I do have uh, two different county call-outs in my, um, my call-out interface, and for those that don't have call-out interface, if you want to install call-out interface... I'll link a video in the top right corner showing you, taking you to my video showing you how to install callout interface because it's very useful to have those, especially when you're testing new callouts. So when I pull out my callout interface, I've got two sets of county callouts. This is the old callouts. These are the new ones. So we're going to just try just a few, not all of them. Let's go ahead and start try um, this. Um, let's do deputy check. All units attempt to reacquire visual. A um, police car in Sandy Shores. I'll take that. Dispatch, show me in route. Ten, four, copy that. Copy. Moving One, right now. Seven. All right, so code three. I'm not going to respond code three because I'm talking to you guys. So this is for a deputy check. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of these call-outs, guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited that he, that that, that uh, Adam updated these. Um, I've always been a fan of the county call-outs. Uh, so let's go check this out and see what's going area. on. ATL 20 on suspect. Suspect in custody. All right, so that's really all we had to do to arrest the suspect. Stand by. All right, so we got we just got to stand by here uh, to see what's going on. Does she need to talk to me or anything like that? Is there a dialogue? Uh, that would be that would be pretty cool if there was. No dialogue. Okay, so we can go ahead and end the call. Dispatch, show me code four. Attention, all units. Code for no additional support. Alright, so that I mean other than the fact it's a deputy check and she's okay. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I guess that's the only point to that one. So let's go ahead and go to the next call here. Uh, the next one's gonna be um, let's do let's do math meth lab explosion. Special me in route. Alright, so we got a meth lab explosion. Reports of fire and possible explosions. At Gnome Meth Lab, Sandy Shores. Well, let's go ahead and go check this out. And uh, see, because I've not seen a Meth Lab explosion in callouts yet. I think this is the first time I'm seeing. Whoa! Holy cow! Holy cow! Alright, so we got suspects running. Dispatch, we have an active pursuit. Got two suspects headed uh, eastbound uh, on Nowhere Road. Copy that. Is backup required? Affirmative. Target spotted heading west on foot and Grande Sonora dead. So you got a weapon, you got a weapon. Copy that. Yep, he's Probably got one. Right Put now. it down, man. Put it down. Put it down, dude. Put the gun down. Backup required. In Put it down. Short. He was fixing to shoot me. Let's get a helicopter. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. Dispatch requesting medical. Oh, we got shots fired. Oh, and that call out crashed my game. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. That call out 
Uh, the Math Lab explosion did crash my game, so we're gonna go ahead. Let's and go to the next out. call. The next call is going to be. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try the illegal off-roading. Citizens reporting a 415 driving a off-road route. vehicle in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, so we got an off-road vehicle in Grande Sonora Desert. So we're gonna go check right this down. out. That right down here by the racetrack too. If you guys want to know what graphics I'm running, I am running Reshade with the with the Patreon version of Quant V, and my siren is the Willen 295. Sounds like that. I usually get those questions quite a bit. Now this is going to be our guy right here. Uh, yep, there's the description of the vehicle, which is cool. I'm glad they added that. Let's go ahead and light him up. <clears throat> So it says, continue your traffic stop to complete the call. So obviously we have to pull them over. And that is that is not going to work. Driver, cross the road. Pull over the right somewhere safe. All right, let's get him off the road here real quick. And I just, I'm just kind of curious to see how this call out goes. Um... Let's get him off the road here. One at him. I'll kind of give you a little episode of LSP4 as well. Dispatch, you can show me on a traffic stop. Uh, I'm going to be out with the off road uh, vehicle, Gray Sand King, occupied times one. Dispatch, can I get a 1028? It's going to be 46 Edward, Edward King 572. All right, so we're going to get a 28 on the vehicle. Target vehicle license plate. 46 Edward, Edward King, 572. Let's go ahead and get him in pulled up here. Violation. Approach with caution. Vehicle database. Put him in here. So Bubba Duke is our vehicle owner. Um, Sand King, let's go ahead and check owner information. This is our guy here. Let's check his record. He does not have any previous records. So it looks like that's all good. Um... And then let's enter his name and check him out. So yeah, all right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Love police menu. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and approach the vehicle. Dispatch requesting traffic stop backup. Backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. Let's go ahead and approach the vehicle because you just don't know. It's it's always good to be prepared. Always good to be prepared. We're heading over now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Sergeant Justice with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. I need to see license registration, proof of insurance, man. You match the description of an off-road vehicle. I don't know. I have no idea what that clink clinking noise is, but it's getting on my nerves. Thanks. All right, he's got narcotics. Look like it coming from the vehicle. I think it said narcotics. So that's pretty cool. Uh, smell strong narcotics coming inside the vehicle. So y'all kind of know how this call is going to go. We're going to go ahead and code for it. Dispatch, show me code for all right, so let's go ahead and try. Um, we know what the stolen sheriff unit is. I mean, we'll, we'll try it. Attention all units, A503, a stolen police So we'll try that. So usually what happens in these is there's a stolen vehicle. You'll approach the suspect, and as soon as you get it behind him, it initiates a tra uh, a pursuit, which is pretty typical on how those callouts normally go. I would like it to be a little more um, immersive than that, like, you know, like, spot the vehicle, make a traffic stop, and then maybe as soon as you approach the vehicle, then they take off and run. That That's what makes good uh, immersion, uh, you know, for callouts and stuff, in my opinion. Uh, nonetheless, these are cool callouts. I've had one, like I said, that crashed my game. We're going to get on down here uh, to the uh, stolen sheriff's unit. So, stolen sheriff's unit. It's got to be up here somewhere. It's got to be right in here. There he goes right there. Yep. Pursuit. Dispatch, we have an active 1080. We're going to be headed uh, northbound Sonora Way. 3059. It's going to be a sheriff's patrol unit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end this pursuit real quick. There we go. Get that thing pulled over, man. Oh, 
dispatch requesting roadblock. So this is a pretty cool call out, guys. Um, oh, he's going to go this way, and they're going to be on the wrong side. I'm just going to get him off the road here real quick. Out of the car, man. Out of the car. Hands up. Hands up. Heads up. Face down. Face down. Don't move. Don't move. Hey, come on, man. Get on the ground, dude. And it's going to glitch. It's going to glitch. So we're going to have to... Nah, don't you get in that vehicle. Don't you get in that vehicle. Get your hands up, man. Get your hands up, dude. Get on the ground, man. Face down, dude. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Maybe he'll stay down this time. Dispatch, stop traffic. All right, so that was pretty cool how we had to go... Uh, such a long way to, to look for him. I think that was that was that was pretty realistic. I like that. Dispatch, send me a ten sixteen. I'm gonna be eastbound U.S. Route thirteen. We're gonna get him picked up. So we'll do. Uh, let's do. Oh, that guy was flying. Let's do. Uh, let's do our domestic call. Let's do that one. Be the last one. I think we did them all. I think we actually ended up doing them all. Dispatch, show me responding code three. Copy that. Moving right now. Copy. One, item seven. All right, so we got a domestic call. Watch out. Which they said was where? Where's it at? Is it Grape Seed? Is that where it's at? Grape Seed? Now oh, Sandy, Sandy. So we're going to head over there. So I'm assuming this is going to be the front door. required in Sandy Shores. Press, what do I press to enter the residence? Okay, there we go. Got to press Y, guys. Got to press Y. All right, so now we're in. All right, so we got this guy here. Let's go ahead and get our gun out so we're ready, ready for anything. Right there, don't move, don't move. So do we have to Do we have to talk to her or what? So it's, again, guys, it's Y. It's Y, so you can question him here with what's going on. Let's see what's going on. How do you mind telling me what's going on? I don't even know what started all this. I don't even... Okay, I don't even know what started this. All right, and then you Stop. go to the next question. Police. Jesus, quit doing that, bro. Uh, do you need help? You peeing in your pants now? Jesus. Nah, I'll keep going on. All right, and then we're going to ask her the no, last question. Why are you here? Damn. This is my house. I have a right to be here. All right, and that's it. Then Please, you can go down, do visual inspection. Um, no visible injuries, but we do have a person down right here. Um, and I don't know. All we can do is detain them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place her under arrest by using stop the ped. Um, let's go ahead. All right, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Uh, just for your safety and mind, I'm going to go ahead and detain you real quick. Now, now, the next part is going to be tricky. Let's see if she actually goes back outside me. So remember, guys, why is to come inside the house? Um, and it only show me question marks because I'm currently using my controller. If I had to hit one of the keyboard keys, it would show me what key to hit. So, uh, so if I go here, it's why to exit the residence again. And she does go outside me. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm gonna so we're going to put her right here for a medical awesome. unit for this guy. Uh, so you can just kind of role play it out however you want, but this is a really cool. Um, this is a really cool call out. I, I really like this one. This one's really dope. Uh, okay, and he just okay he disappeared. He did he did he spawn outside by any chance? Is he somewhere else in the house that I'm not aware of? Uh, yeah, he just straight up disappeared, man. He straight up disappeared. We're gonna go ahead next to the residence again. And uh, did he spawn outside? Yeah, I don't. All right. Dispatch, you can show me cold four. I'll be back tonight. That's going to be it, guys. We can go ahead and release our backup. Oh, and that call out. Again, guys, that was another call out that crashed my game I right there. That's pretty much it for the call outs, guys. You judge it for yourself. I'll link the call outs down below in the description uh, so you guys can download them if you want to and put them in your game as I showed you how to do. That's going to do it, guys and girls. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you never miss any future content or live streams. 
Until next time, everyone, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. We'll see you all in the next one.